Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Soviet OZK or OZK um, hazmat suit, um, and as well as the boots here. Um, now, this suit was made and mass produced during the Chernobyl disaster, um, and it just kind of fits over the person, kind of like a big trench coat here. Um, and as you can see, it's just kind of white insides. You could use this for winter camo if you wanted to, because these ma uh, these um, hazmat suits do get very hot because um, it traps heat so well. Um, and they're not very breathable at all. And so how you do the straps, I mean uh, buttons here, uh, is you basically just take this button and there's a rubberized hole and you um, pop it over. Now when these are new, uh, new old stock is what people call them, they are very tight and so what that means is you should probably button the entire thing up, probably gonna make your thumbs callous, not gonna lie, um, and then it just kinda buttons up like this uh, um, and I typically leave two or three buttons undone so I can walk around a bit easier. I have worn this to a uh, fall airsoft game and I was sweating like a pig because unfortunately we had a heat wave that day. Um, now when you're buying one of these uh, you might want to buy an extra pack of these buttons which are also available on eBay which is where I got this one. Um, and these buttons sometimes don't come with the suit. Um, sometimes they've been taken away from the suit, uh, whether somebody stole them or they just hadn't put them on yet. Um, now, around the cuffs here for the hands, it is elasticated and the same is for the hood is elasticated as well. Now these suits are not as good as the Polish design um, which would be more expensive than this because the Polish ones um, it's just rubber, like it, um, just kind of tight rubber around your hands and around the face piece to create an airtight seal. Um, now I'm not going to put on the boots, but I will show you the boots here. Um, the boots are probably size, uh, triple wide gazillion, um, because I can fit around size 12 cracks in here, no problem. Um, now again, these go up to about my, um, lower thigh, uh, here, and it has these, uh, kind of straps, kind of the same straps the GP5 is made, uh, GP5 bag is made out of. Um, so, moving on to these gloves here, now these are not the original gloves that came with the OZK hazmat suit, um, I just using them because I couldn't find the original gloves on eBay. And so what you want to do with the um, gloves is you want it to go, the cuff of the glove to go um, under the suit so that contaminant can't get in if it leaks down into the glove. Uh, I'm going to put this other one on here. Uh, this one was used and mass produced for Chernobyl. Uh, like I said, um, and it also has been featured in many video games, uh, such as, um, you know, I think it was maybe in your Metro um, video game series. Uh, it is in the video game Vigor, if you know about that. Um, and I, it is in the Stalker series. Um, and so, just for reference, we're going to use this GP5M. Um, as a kind of a prop mask for this. You know, since the GP5M has such a bad voice diaphragm, this is essentially what the suit looks like uh, when you're wearing it. Again, it just is this kind of cloak type uh, suit. And there have been um, soldiers who wrap it around their legs but you would need additional buttons for that um, and that is about all to be said about the OZK now we're not going to dive into the history 
um, just to keep it short. Um, but this is a very effective um, suit if you're going to use it for, say, a raincoat since it's just so tough and thick. Um, uh, so yeah, and these suits do get very hot. Um, it was pretty hot even just the three or so minutes wearing the suit. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to be said about the suit. Um, I got this for about mm, around $40 plus shipping, and the boots were around, again, $40 plus shipping. Um, it took about three months to get here, because again, Russian shipping is still dog water.